Welcome back. We've been talking about toxins this week, toxic products, toxic household products. And now we are going to talk about brain in the news. What have you got for us? So much. But first, I want to read a review. Um, I found all the Brain Warriors Way podcast today. I scrolled down and started listening. There's so much out there about these topics, but I felt I was finally listening to the truth. I love your honesty, the way you two complement each other, and real solutions or healthy alternatives that you offer. Thank you. I look forward to listening to more so I'm informed and can help myself, my family, and my friends. That's what Brain Warriors do. They mm -hmm. give this away. Tana, you are brave for sharing your story, and I'm sure you have and will continue to give others hope. This is Aww. San Gauma. Uh, we are so grateful. Thank you. That you listen. So, brain in the news. There's so much in the news related to the brain. We have this whole stack of studies. Um, somebody sent me a um, graph yesterday of the world's biggest consumers of oh. antidepressants. Oh, so interesting. The, US, the USA actually wasn't in the top 10. Really? The number one was Iceland. Really? Do you so, think it's because of lack of sunshine? Absolutely. Oh, interesting. And they live in Iceland. Yeah. It's probably not that much <laughs> But it's fun. beautiful there, I hear. Stunning. Yeah. The next one is Australia. Well, now, they I, do have sunshine, so I'm confused now. Well, I just finished. I know watching they were they, banished. Yeah, but you don't. You're going to get yourself in trouble. Be quiet. Just don't say anything else. Just don't. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> so it's a series on um, Amazon. Yeah. But there was a high incidence. I mean, you know, they sent the criminals from England. Over I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were going to do it. Australia. But just think about that. Because, you know, here at Amon Clinics, we've scanned over a thousand convicted felons. And when you look at someone who got gets into trouble with the law, there is often... Yes, but if you watched it, not all of them were actually in trouble for legitimate reasons. That's that's true. No. But there would be a higher percentage of the population that perhaps struggled with mental health issues, which is what got them in trouble with the law. Now, Portugal is next. And why Portugal? I don't know, because there's plenty of sun in Portugal. Um, and then the United Kingdom. That well, I've been there. Sense. The weather sucks. Right. Um, Sweden. So again, north. Canada, north. Denmark, north. And Australia, you could really think of as south uh, because it's deep in the southern hemisphere, also New Zealand, and then Spain. But Portugal and Spain sort of don't make yeah. sense because they're both on the Mediterranean. Finland, um, Germany, France, Italy, Turkey, and South Korea. Now, uh, probably the biggest consumers of antidepressants also go with how much money the pharmaceutical companies are pouring into marketing in those states. That's so, so interesting. And anyways, we should have uh, Heather post a link to that on the Brain Warriors Way podcast. Um, brand new study just out yesterday on ashwagandha. Um, yeah, I saw and that. I loved it because um, it was a thousand milligrams a day of ashwagandha. We actually have ashwagandha right. in focus and energy because it relaxes you, but also helps you focus. Um, but this study actually showed that adding ashwagandha to um, regular treatment for people with schizophrenia, so what we think of as one of the worst uh, mental health issues, um, decrease their stress and decrease the number of positive symptoms they had and decrease the number of negative symptoms they have. So positive symptoms in schizophrenia are things like hallucinations, right. Um, delusions, agitation, negative symptoms, sort of the lack of motivation and the lack of energy. So I just thought that was really interesting. You know, you go to your doctor, most of them say, oh, 
supplements have no science. This is a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial showing significant benefit from basically an herb in 66 patients. Um, Another study came out this week on utilizing QEEG, so quantitative EEG that we use here in the clinics, to objectively document the nature and severity of concussions in junior hockey players. And, um, you know, concussions are a major concern for hockey teams. Um, so during one winter, all players on two junior hockey teams were assessed in order to establish um, a baseline for concussions. And then at the end, the QEEG was um, used as a measure of brain function. The results indicated that of the players assessed, so they assess 46 players, two thirds tested positive for concussions. Ouch. Um, only a minority were mild where the majority was severe and it affected their frontal lobes and their temporal lobes. Uh, the National Hockey League is pretty much in denial about this issue. <laughs> I mean, there's just no question. How, how could they be in denial? They're just um, it's like the whole goal is to like bash each other's heads in. Well, no, that's not the that's the goal of I football. Know. But well, I know, the, but if you have you watched hockey players of, of hockey, right? And they're they're decreasing the number of fights, but the younger you start playing hockey, the higher the incidence of concussions. Okay, another one. Blind from a bad diet. What? And, yes, teen who ate mostly potato chips and fries lost his sight. So that's interesting. Researchers in the UK say, say that a teen has suffered vision loss after years of eating a highly limited diet consisting of snacking on Pringles potato chips as well as French fries, white bread, and some processed pork products. That's interesting because there are a lot of kids who have texture issues. Think about like autistic kids, right? And so, they have a very restricted diet. Very restricted, right. So 14-year-old boy goes to the doctor, complaints of tiredness, extremely picky eater, um, eats what we just talked about. Overall, he appears okay. He's not overweight, takes no medications. Test shows he has anemia, low levels of vitamin B12. So he's given B12 injections and diet advice, but a year later, he has begun to lose vision. By age 17, he's legally blind. Turns out the boy's highly limited daily diet, lacking in healthy foods, vitamins, and minerals, has led to optic neuropathy. So that should be common sense, right? But it seems like it's not for a lot of people in society. They just don't really understand. Well, and there are places in the U.S. and other places that scientists call food deserts, mm -hmm. where they don't have grocery stores and big box stores right. and where they can get um, fresh fruits and vegetables. And so with a limited diet, I, you know, I've seen many patients, they ate at the little Mart store in the gas station. Right. And so if you're- And you see like truck drivers and things like that, they'll eat on the go and it's what's harder where for everything is processed everything is fast and, and fibers what, removed. what this article says is that can damage virtually every organ in your body including your eyes and people actually don't know that the eyes are the only part of your brain that is uncovered. So your eyes are brain tissue. Right. And the, in many ways, they're the window to your soul. But if you don't get the nutrients you need, they're not going to work properly. So, so the University of Bristol in England, that was their conclusion that it was his diet. And they published a case study on this. I know. Crazy, huh? Right. So interesting. I, that's, I've never heard of that being published as a case study, that it was diet that led to that. It's so interesting. Um, this case highlights the impact of diet on visual and physical health and the fact that calorie intake and BMI are not reliable indicators of nutritional status. I think we've said that. Yeah, more than once. Yeah. So I mean, calories matter, but the quality of your calories matter more. Yep. All right. Uh, for this brain in the news, let's do one more. Um, 
association of fish and long chain omega-3 fatty acid intake with total and cause specific mortality. A prospective analysis. So this means they looked forward in 421,309 individuals. Wow. So prevailing dietary guidelines recommend regular fish, fish consumption. We have said this. I, there are a lot of people just don't like fish. And but they can take fish oil. However, the association of fish and long-chain omega-3 fatty acid intakes with mortality is unclear. So they took all of these people in an NIH AARP diet and health study, and they were prospectively followed for 16 years. And dietary intake was assessed using a questionnaire. And um, a total of 54,000 men and 30,000 plus women died um, during this follow-up time. A higher fish and omega-3 fatty acid intake was associated with lower total mortality. Interesting. Which means fewer of them died. Comparing the highest with the lowest quartile, so if they divide this group into four sections, the highest quartile versus the lowest quartile of fish intake, men had 9% lower mortality, 10% lower cardiovascular disease, lower cancer mortality, lower respiratory disease, mortality, lower chronic liver disease mortality, Why women had 8% lower mortality, um, lower cardiovascular disease, 38% lower Alzheimer's yeah. disease. So it's interesting. We've been saying for a long time, I mean, it helps with your quality of life, right? So brain health, heart health, um, all of those things, decreasing inflammation. So that makes sense. And now. And if you don't like fish, at least take your fish oil. So the two fish oil I took this morning means I'm going to be around longer to haunt you. Yes. Well, I take six, so I'm going to be around <laughs> a long time. <laughs> As we come up on Halloween. And, yes. And... Uh, Day one of the fall evil ruler parties. Day one. Yes. If you learned anything in this Brain in the News podcast, please post it on any of your social media channels and hashtag Brain Warriors Way podcast. Uh, please leave us a review or ask us a question. The next podcast we're going to do, we're going to answer your questions. Ask us a question at brainwarriorswaypodcast.com. We'll enter you into a raffle. And next time we're going to talk about who won. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. If you're enjoying the Brain Warriors Way podcast, please don't forget to subscribe so you'll always know when there's a new episode. And while you're at it, feel free to give us a review or five-star rating as that helps others find the podcast. If you're considering coming to Amen Clinics or trying some of the brain healthy supplements from BrainMD, you can use the code PODCAST10 to get a 10% discount on a full evaluation at amenclinics.com or a 10% discount on all supplements at brainmdhealth.com. For more information, give us a call at 855 978 1363.